think it was possible. But there's something about you that is intriguingly captivating. I can just feel the blood rushing through my veins. I can feel your warmth embracing me. Everywhere, in every way. Maybe it's the way you move. the way you smile. I can't get enough of you. <laughs> I'm falling in love. People's Democratic Republic, the jewel of the Mekong, is rich in culture and traditions and has one of the most pristine and charming environments in Southeast Asia. Occupying the longest stretch of the Mekong River, the peaceful country of seven million people is endowed with natural resources and the uniquely preserved lifestyles of 148 ethnic tribes. Vientiane became the capital in 1563 and was the administrative capital during the French colonization and is now the country's economic center. The friendly capital city situated on the bend of the Mekong River is home to many temples and Buddhist monuments, some of which include Prat Tat Luong, one of the most famous and important national culture monuments, was initially established in the 3rd century by Buddhist missionaries sent by Emperor Ashoka and is believed to contain a holy relic of Buddha. When King Setatirat moved his capital from Luang Prabang to Vientiane, he ordered the construction of the Grand Stupa, which stands 45 meters high and is surrounded by 30 small stupas. Since the stupa has undergone several reconstructions due to foreign invasions, 
The architecture of the building includes many references to Lao culture and identity, with the three levels of the monument reflecting part of the Buddhist doctrine. Each year on full moon during the 12th month of the lunar calendar, November, Lao people come from all over the country to celebrate Tat Luang festival. Ha Prakeo, originally a temple built by King Satatirat to house the emerald Buddha image, is now a museum of ancient Buddhist images. Sitting across the street from Ha Prakeo is Vat Sisiket, a temple built in 1818 by King Anuvong in the Siamese style of Buddhist architecture. The temple features a cloister wall with more than 2,000 ceramic and silver Buddha images. Hatusai Monument is a prominent landmark in Vientiane that began construction in 1957 and was completed in 1968. Inspired by the architecture of the Arc de Triomphe in Paris, the design incorporates Lao Kinari motifs of a mythical bird woman. Visitors can climb to the top of the monument that reveals an exceptional panoramic view of the city. Champasak Province, the former capital of the Kingdom of Champasak, is the southwestern province bordering Thailand and Cambodia with its capital city, Pakse, being one of Laos' three largest economic centers. At a small town of Champasak is the Khmer ruin of Vat Pu, temple site, with temples from the 5th century, but the surviving structures date to the 11th to 13th centuries. The unique structure of the temples has elements that lead to a shrine where Linga was bathed in water from a mountain spring. Initially associated with Satapura and later superseded by the Angkorian period, the temple is now worshipped by Theravada Buddhists and is listed as one of UNESCO's World Heritage Sites in 2001. Dong Kong is the main island of the Si Pan Dong, the 4,000 Islands, a riverine archipelago located on the Mekong River in the Kong District, Champasak Province. A growing tourist destination, the island is known for its natural beauty and simple lifestyle of the locals. From Dong Kong, visitors can take long-tail boats to nearby islands Don Det and Dong Khan, where it is easier to view the Khan Papen waterfall. Khan Papeng Falls is the biggest waterfall in Southeast Asia is home to the Mekong giant catfish, which is said to be the largest freshwater fish in the world. The picturesque succession of rapids stretch about 10 kilometers of the river's length, and it is known to be the prime reason why the Mekong River is not fully navigable into China because of thousands of islands in the archipelago. Vang Vien is a tourism-oriented town along the Nam Song River, located about four hours north from Vientiane and about eight hours south of Luang Prabang. Surrounded by the town is the most notable feature of the marvelous limestone Karst Hill landscape. Attractions of the town include inner tubing, kayaking, rope swinging, zip lining, trekking, and rock climbing. There are numerous caves in the area, and just a short walk from town are many ethnic Lao, Khmu, and Hmong villages. Sien Quang province borders Vietnam in northeastern Laos and is home to five different ethnic groups where there are traditional houses, dresses, beliefs, and rituals are part of the cultural heritage of Laos. It is a vast and beautiful province that has endured monumental historic events. While the province is known for the plain of jars, the natural beauty of the province is waiting to be discovered. Sien Quang has a pleasant climate all year round with warm or hot days and cold nights, and a landscape characterized by the highest mountains in the country, Mount Pubia. Its pine forest, deciduous woodland, rolling hills, and grassland. Nong Het and Pasai district, in particular, offer stunning karst scenery with plenty of caves, cliffs, underground rivers, and waterfalls. Visiting the area is very beautiful during the peach and orchid tree blossom in February. The Plain of Jars is a megalithic archaeological landscape that scatters over 90 sites in Sien Quang province with the biggest cluster near the capital city, Pan Savan. Each site ranges from one up to 400 stone jars. 
The jars vary in height and diameter between one and three meters and are all hewn out of rock. Research shows that these large stone jars are associated with prehistoric burial practices that date back to the Iron Age in 500 BCE to 500 CE, making it one of the most fascinating and important sites for studying Southeast Asian prehistory. Among the many Lao stories and legends told there was once a race of giants who inhabited the area. They were ruled by a king called Kun Cheung, who fought a long and eventually victorious battle against his enemy. To celebrate his victory, he evidently created the jars to brew and store huge amounts of Lao rice wine. Luang Prabang, former capital of the Lan Sang Kingdom, is well known for its fine Lao cuisine, soft-spoken accents, fine arts, as well as numerous Buddhist temples and monasteries. Every morning, hundreds of monks from temples around town walk through streets collecting alms. Luang Prabang also has notable natural and historic sites. Among the natural tourism sites are the Kuang Si Falls, Tatse Falls, and Pak U Caves. Among the most well-known historical sites are the Ha Kam Royal Palace Museum and the Vat Sien Tong Temple. Along with the many ancient charming temples is the old town's appeal of the many French provincial style houses as well as traditional Lana architecture that adds to the town's charm. Lao people are proud that Luang Prabang has been made a UNESCO World Heritage Town.